Hey everybody, um, somebody asked me how I did the wood grain on my models. I thought I'd do a little quick tutorial for you. Now, to start with, you're going to have to have a base coat of white, or it has to be, you know, maybe white with a little hint of gray in it, or tan, or something, but it, it has to be a light color, otherwise the the uh, grain, it, it, the white will show through and it will kind of look like wood. So, so it's got to be white. Probably the whiter the better. And then the first color I use is going to be a pretty light color too. I don't, you probably could use a light gray. I'm going to use, um, this is called golden brown. Whoops. And that's just craft acrylic paints. So then you take that and put a little. So you want it to be really light. And you just take that and you brush that on. Let's see, if I can get my hand out of the way. And you just put it on. Of course, depending on how thick you put it on is how dark it's going to be. You kind of want to leave it blotchy like that. And then we'll just set that aside and let it dry. And when I mean dry, I mean dry. Let it dry overnight. I mean, you want it to be really dry. You know, dry like the Sahara dry. That's how dry you want it. So I did this one last night, so then I clean my brush, and then I'll go with a darker color. This is called, this is Espresso. Espresso. Okay. So it's a really dark brown. You could probably use a, uh, probably could use a gray too, a dark gray, if you wanted like a weather beaten look. I did this last night, so I know that's dry. So I'm gonna put this on. Hopefully I'm out of the camera. And then that'll settle in all the cracks too, so you can see it. You can put a little heavier in some spots, a little lighter in some spots. And then when you put it on, you want to go like with the paint, with the way the boards are running. If 
Otherwise, you'll get a line going across your part. Then we'll set that aside and let that dry. And then, to age it a little bit, I'll come in with the black. Now the black will go a little bit. It's going to go a long way with this. I don't know. See, it's kind of still a little dark. That's better. And like I said, I just put it on with the grain. With the on with the way the boards run. Kind of hard doing with this, my left hand, I'm not a lefty. Okay, now we'll take that, we'll let that. Sit for a little bit and dry. A little bit, like I mean, like a day. This is like this would be a multi-day project. Oops. Hold on, I forgot my dull coat. And for the last part, I'll just take a little dull coat and I'll just spray over the top of it. And it you'll want to protect it because this finish is very, very susceptible to scrapes and bumps and everything else. I mean even look at it the wrong way it's going to scratch on you until you get it protected and if you're using dull coat dull coat is kind of a thin mixture so you're going to want to put multiple coats on it but when it's done you get something that looks like this you get a bunch of little sh bunch of shades in there You got little browns, a little black. Yeah. And then, let's see, I did this one a while back. I don't know if you can see that or not, but I did that one with a red. So it has more of a red, like a redwood look to it. So. But you could probably do it with gray too, and you'd have a a weather beaten board more. So alright. Um thanks for watching. 
See you later. Bye.